You ask me I'm bad on whiny, I guess I'ma beg for you Your body looks bad on me, cause it gets wetter for me Once you beg for me, once you beg, once you beg Watch me beg for you, I'ma beg, I guess I gotta beg What is up, hey Lawami? It's your boy Milo. And what are we doing today, Shorty? We're gonna be giving you guys some advice. This is probably the most asked question that we get, besides if I'm pregnant or when we're getting married. This is like the third most asked question. Facts. We get this question almost daily, like all the time. Facts. The question and the advice that we're basically going to be giving you guys is how to survive a long distance relationship. Facts. Me and Babe have experience in it considering that we were long distance for 10 months. Almost a year. Pretty so much a year. It was really hard. It was really challenging. I'm not going to lie. We got through it. As you can see, we're still together. We're almost going to be three years together in a couple months. So we made it. If you think we should do more videos like this, let us know after the video, you know what I mean? Because this is something I will be extremely excited to do. Mm -hmm. Like sit down with y'all, give y'all like advice, you know what I mean? Tell y'all like what and what not to do in a relationship, even out of a relationship. Just let us know. How topics. to get a boyfriend. Damn. How to get a girlfriend. Yeah, because you good at How that. to keep a girlfriend. If y'all want videos like that, just, just let us know. We're not experts, but I feel like mm -hmm. if we sat down and actually talked, we can come up with a perfect way to explain to you guys in full descriptive details that can help you guys be happy. Basically. Be happy. That's basically what we want to do. We want to give y'all advice and tell y'all what not to do and what to do by our experience. You know what I mean? And this does not apply to everybody. You have a bunch of people who may be with somebody who may like the things that we say don't do, but that's just a weird person. You know what I mean? So, so shout out to you. So funny. Okay. Thanks for putting in the disclaimer, babe. Not everybody's going to agree with our views on things and how we like to handle things and what we think is right, which is okay. It's most likely just majority. Which is why it's called advice. You can choose to take it or not. Exactly. Okay? We're not forcing y'all. So. Exactly, okay. Mm -hmm. You just want to jump, jump straight into it? Yes. All right, so we're going to start this video. Well, start in the middle of this video <laughs> asking one question. How to survive a long distance relationship? This question is actually a very popular question. As she stated earlier, I see this all the times in my DMs, all the times in the comment section. And me personally, I had a lot of crushes that were in different states. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was a little boy. You feel me? That's just, I was, I was scared of girls. I wouldn't approach a girl in public because I was scared of them. I was always doing stuff wrong, but like I said, I was a little boy. You know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a man now. I'm a, I'm a big, strong man now. Let's just start off by saying, with a long distance relationship, in my opinion, is a beautiful thing for the simple fact that you are allowed to get to know that person way deeper and way beyond the physical connection, which is needed, let me say. But I feel like if you meet somebody in person and y'all kick it off a, a weekend later, you know what I mean? Y'all are going on dates, you feel me? They come to the crib, you let them stay the night, y'all watch Netflix, yada, yada, yada. You guys are getting to know each other, but what are the odds of you guys getting to know each other on a chemistry level as y'all would if you guys were to be talking on the phone, to be texting, you know what I mean? Like It's just a powerful way to get to know somebody. Without physical, you're saying. It's exactly, because you don't have physical, so you need to compensate for that, basically. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it's just a beautiful thing. I feel like me and her, we handled our relationship perfectly for the simple fact that we waited an entire three months. That's not a long time at all for a long distance relationship. A lot of long distance relationship goes one year, two years without even seeing each other. Some goes months and months without even seeing each other on FaceTime. Oh, I, yeah. Just, I don't know in what world they would do that. Yeah, but. just to clarify, we were long distance for 10 months, but between the 10 months, we did um, see each other. He came to see me the first time in Chicago, then I flew, always flew out like here and there and stay, stayed at his house for like a week or two, mm -hmm. a couple months at a time. I used to be the type of person, I didn't want to be around somebody for too long. Mm -hmm. And I know that sounds horrible, but like the girlfriends that I did have in the past, it was like if I was around them for even two days, like I would get tired of them. You feel <laughs> me? And I, it's horrible. It's a horrible thing to say, but it was it was something different when she started coming to my house, you know what I mean? And after one week, after two weeks, I'm like begging her to come back another week later. That was just different for me. When we got to a point where she was staying over for like a month, I'm like, dang, after a month, I'm still not tired of you. You might as well just move in. But this video is not about us. This video is about <laughs> you guys. Um, But we just want to express so and emphasize. Free. Yeah, just emphasize how it affected us. One, tip one, me personally, I would say communication is key. For the simple fact that all of our arguments were due to communication. If 
we weren't talking as much. If you're long distance, you need that presence. It's just like, if you live with somebody and they're never looking at you, never talking to you, you just don't feel that presence. I mean, that's going to do something to your relationship. It's the same with being long distance. Communication is everything. Make time to talk to each other on the phone. Like, we went like a few days and I was like so busy, I couldn't talk to her. Or I was like, when I was on tour, we couldn't talk on the phone every night. Just that alone, it felt like we were becoming distant. Yeah, because that's all you have when you're that's long all distance. You have. All you have is communication. So I feel like, like that's all you can do is exactly. talk to each other. So if you go days without talking to someone that don't live in the same state as you, that you don't see in person ever, like, you know what I mean? It's going to create some... Create some distance. Yeah, emotionally. It's, it's going to, yes, yeah, it's, it's going to do something to your relationship. And it's up to you to actually deal with it and do better or be worse you feel me it's it all depends on your mindset if you're an ambitious person and you go for what you want and you know for a fact speaking from a guy's point of view if you know for a fact that, that this girl is it for you bruh do what the hell you gotta do you feel me don't let your pride get in the way don't let work don't let school you feel me school is very important you know what i mean but it's not as time consuming as you may make it out to be yeah <laughs> and it's like i used to i used to do that a lot and it's not in my mind, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I wasn't like, okay, um, this is gonna take up all my time, but it was more so like, you, you already know how I am. If I'm in the, like, zone, if I'm in the zone, like, I'm in the zone, mm -hmm. you feel me? And that's why I went wrong, so apologize for that i know i did before but still so yeah that's one thing make time for each other and make time to actually talk to somebody ask them how their day went just be there just vocally be there and be there you feel me also if you're gonna be busy which is understandable like when we were long distance i was in college and working mm -hmm. and he you know had his whole music thing with his label going on so we both live very different lives we were both very busy um so even if you are busy just simply texting them and letting them know like hey i'm not gonna be able to talk to you for a few hours but i will text you Mm -hmm. at this time and just telling them that instead of not saying anything the whole day trust me it makes a difference or this is very smart and i recommend everybody doing it if you if you are in the middle of doing something bro i don't care if it's homework because if it's home if you're doing homework if you're in the studio for my artists if you know what i mean if you're doing something that's very time consuming you're oh you you know you're gonna get you're sucked gonna, into it yeah you're gonna get sucked into it and then you might not respond for like a whole 40 minutes after every single text you know what i mean so she's texting you after like two minutes but Every single time she responds, she gotta wait 40 minutes for a text, you know what I mean? And, and that's and, how it was a lot, a lot of times with us. And <laughs> even if, like, if I wasn't busy, she was busy, and that's how it was for me. I had to wait for a text, and it's like, it got to a point where we started letting each other know when we were gonna be busy, like, and we just didn't even text during that time. You, We were just like, look, I'm gonna be busy, you know what I mean? I'm gonna just text you after. This is something a lot of people subconsciously do automatically, but there is a lot of people who will only text you five times without... Like, throughout the whole day. You know what I mean? And just have you sitting here waiting for a text. So, don't do that. Let them know you're going to be busy. And just don't talk to each other for that time that you are busy. Text them once or twice. Maybe call them at, um, on your downtime. Because hearing your voice is far more important than seeing a text from you. I learned that from her. Mm -hmm. I learned that from her. Before her, I wasn't a talking on the phone type of dude. You know what I mean? I love to text. Same with me. I was the same way. For real? Yeah. She made me want to talk on the phone, you know what I mean? Because it was it was something special. So that's another thing. Make time to actually call the person. Don't always just text. So now that we're done with communication, what would you say? Um, I would say the next tip that we would give you guys is to have faith personally. I feel like that's one of the biggest things that play a role in a long distance relationship. Um, Because you guys can talk all you want, but if you don't have faith that that relationship is going to go anywhere, if you don't have faith that you guys are actually going to see each other one day and that this is actually going to work, there's just no point. You're wasting your time. You're wasting the other person's time. You know, um, you're just setting yourself up for a lot of pain and heartbreak and, you know, all of that. So... If you don't have faith, either find some, you know, mm. if you really do want it to work out, find some, or if you don't, just call it quits. Just because, be lonely and buy a few cats. Yeah, because me, it's, I really liked Milo when we first started talking. I liked him a lot. He made me so happy as time went on. I started losing faith that we were actually going to see each other. We lived completely different lives, you know what I mean? And I was like, it's, this is just never going to work, you know? And that's just me being an overthinker and getting into my own head. But what really helped me was 
having him reassure me all the time, like constantly reassuring me, telling me, you know, that we are going to see each other one day and this and this and that. And it's like just having him tell me that really like helped me. So I would say to just reassure each other, lift each other up, give each other faith, you know what I mean? Because yeah. it's like, it's for both people because even him, like I know there's plenty of times where he's like, yeah, this isn't going to work, you know what I mean? But him telling me and me telling him, like that just helps everyone. So just have faith no matter how long it's been or, you know, things. Sometimes it's just, it's just not always convenient to just get on a plane and see that person. There's a lot of time and planning that goes into that moment yeah. of actually seeing that person. You gotta take transportation into consideration, where you're yeah. gonna lay your Money, head. yeah. It's a, it's a lot that goes into it. So just have faith, just have patience, um, you know, and just believe everything's gonna work out. That was very important in our relationship as well, because even one month into our relationship, like, I wish y'all knew how much she doubted us. I think back to it and I'm like, damn. Well, I wanna clarify, it wasn't because I didn't like him or I was like, yeah, it's not gonna work out because I don't really like him. I did not have faith because I was like, yeah, this isn't gonna go anywhere i don't really like him i'm not taking him serious it was not that i really did like him the reason why i feel like i didn't have a lot of faith in it is because i had experiences with other guys before that they never we never got to the level i never got to the level of having a boyfriend before him because every single guy that i started talking to made promises and made this and this and that saying oh yeah well, i'm gonna take you out or we're gonna do this never happened you know what i mean so it's like i, I always just i was the type of person that was used to hearing people say oh yeah you're gonna be my girlfriend we're gonna do this we're gonna do that you know what i mean just guys talking out of their butthole and not meaning it so it's like i just like he would promise me things and say things to me and i'm like yeah okay like we'll see you know what i mean like that type of thing but um and then like i said also me just overthinking thinking like okay this is just too good to be true like you know like i don't deserve it type of yeah, thing yeah that's one of the biggest complications and um, i'm actually really happy you brought that up because i wouldn't have even mm -hmm. brought that up that's that's very um that can really hurt a relationship especially for my fellas it's usually the girls who are the overthinking not to be biased because i'm a guy or not to be sexist but it usually is, right? Mm -hmm. it, it's usually the girls who doubts um, a relationship and just overthinks, you know what I mean? Fellas, y'all gotta have... Patience. Y'all gotta have patience and y'all gotta have a strong foot. Like, y'all gotta have tough skin and y'all gotta be able to pull through even when your girl even when your girl tells you, like, I don't think we should be together. I don't think this is gonna work. You gotta be able to tell her. You can't just be like, oh, why are you doing this, blah, blah, blah. Why are you saying that? You gotta be able to tell her, like, look, you ain't going nowhere. This is going to work. It is working and this is what I'm going to do to make it work and that's you know exactly what, I mean? what he did guys like, like literally if you want that person you need to show them that you want them like give it your everything you know what i mean like make sure that they know like you're not going nowhere you basically. gotta really fellas you gotta really convince her that it's gonna work because she is going to doubt you guys 100 percent. and most of the time you gotta take that first step to going to see because that's exactly what happened after three months we started like that's when the lack of faith really starts to hit her and i was like you know what i'm gonna just go see her and that's when i flew out to see her and that's when mm -hmm. that's when our relationship really really ignited because even though you have chemistry even though you have communication even though you have trust even though you guys have this bond that you have created that's unbreakable because you did it just off of emotions mm -hmm. you know what i mean now you're wondering what it's like to have this bond that you guys create that's physical that's bigger than life itself so when we found that it was it was mm -hmm. wrapped i just really want y'all to know if you guys are in a long distance relationship nine times out of ten you guys are going to last a very long time once you see each other but a simple fact that you guys have created this concrete foundation that's going to carry you guys through hurricanes through tornadoes shit through tsunamis and it's you know why because you guys already been through the toughest parts of a relationship without even seeing each other yet you know what i mean faith and patience have already been tested in a couple of months because you guys were long distance you know what i mean it's like a long distance relationship goes through a lot more earlier than a normal relationship once y'all see each other it's going to be the an, best thing ever <laughs> it's going to be an, unbreak an unbreakable bond i promise you i know it might be hard but I feel like it just makes you appreciate that person so much more. Like, not being able to see them as often. It's like every single time you do see each other, if you yeah, guys are visiting each other here and there, it just makes you appreciate things so much more. You know what I mean? And just, you create more moments. Yeah. And it's like regular couples, like, they take, I feel, I don't want to make it, you know, a competition, but basically, I just feel like, okay, if you're in a regular relationship, if you met someone at school or met someone in your hometown, it's like, yeah, I'm not saying you guys can't work or it's not special or whatever, but I feel like compared to that, it's like, 
like somebody who just got with someone you know what i mean like a month ago they're always together always doing this and this and that and it's like eventually it doesn't start to mean as much you know what i mean i don't want to say that i don't want to say that it doesn't mean as much but basically when you're in a long distance relationship and you see each other here and there like every couple of months it's like it's like it feels like the first time again you know what i mean because it's like you appreciate it so much because you know you don't have access to that person 24 7 is right. that's basically what i'm trying to say since you don't have access to that person every single day like you would if you guys live together if you guys were in the same city it's like it just makes you appreciate everything so much more and it makes you appreciate that person and all the little moments become way bigger exactly. you know what i mean this is something i always told myself out of all of the people that's in the world what makes you think that my soulmate is right around the corner mm -hmm. you know what i mean and i always remembered that and it worked for me <laughs> it worked for me like what are, what are the odds of my soulmate being the girl that sits right next to me in my classroom what are the odds of my soulmate being the girl that i just saw at walmart two seconds ago what are the odds you know what i mean like the world is way bigger than what you see around you. so do not be afraid of long distance relationships do not be afraid of meeting somebody online and do not be afraid of pursuing that person because nine i'm not gonna say nine times out of ten but most of the time most of the time you will have way more success with that person than you will have with a person that you're forced to see every single day take a chance take yeah. a risk the final thing that we can say that's really gonna help you guys out is having it completely branded in your mind that you are going to see this person actually go for it you know what i mean make sure you're actually taking the steps forward into seeing trying to see that person don't get comfortable with being in a long mm -hmm. distance relationship don't get comfortable, yeah. seeing the person does not mean moving in with that person yeah just as you see that person you are still a long distance relationship but don't make it a one-time thing not only making time to talk to this person and giving this person your your energy but also really trying Find your hardest to make time to see that person as well. To make like, trips. Even if it's one trip every two months for a week, you know what I mean? And I know there's a lot of younger people that's like 16. I know it's probably harder for y'all. My only advice for y'all is if you're in a long distance relationship, just be strong. Just be Stick strong until you're able to. Me personally, I, I wasn't able to just travel at will until I was like 18. And yeah, and even then, like he came to see me for the first time. Um, We were 18 when we met. Yeah. But um, basically, he came to see me for my birthday he came to chicago and he said for like what like a week five days five days and um he took that step to come see me he was the first person to you know make that move i actually surprised her yo. yeah i didn't even know <laughs> he was coming but all the times after that i was the one who flew out to him but he always paid for my plane tickets and helped me get there because he knew like okay i was gonna have to like put time aside and go out there and all of that so i actually ended up quitting my job because i went <laughs> i went to go see him she so quit like three and, jobs i went to go see him him so often i was like yeah i can't keep doing this she was like i, I can't don't keep even wanna, asking for she was like i don't even want to work no more <laughs> just compromise you know if you can't see someone that month ask if they can come over try to help them you know what i mean just compromise with each mm -hmm. other um make sure you're both putting in effort to see each other make sure it's not one-sided exactly so i feel like those are the most important things of really lasting in a long distance relationship and that was that was coming from us you know what i mean yeah, look our at experience us. we met on snapchat he <laughs> lived in atlanta i lived in chicago we were long distance for 10 months and i mean look at us like we're happy we popping we popping boo -boo. and i'm just so happy like y'all i just thank god every day that uh, i didn't give up and i wasn't <laughs> stupid and just said forget it you I mean because I'm so happy and in love and blessed and it's all gonna be worth it in the end just make sure you guys know that for my people in a long distance relationship no matter the heartache how much you miss them like how hard it is like when you guys finally get together and you see yourselves you know years later in a relationship and you're like wow like you look at them and you're just like dang we really did that like we really got we through that up. yeah we so up. it's amazing it's all worth it so oh when you first see your girl bro get her a gift or something <laughs> get her a gift Give her something, even if it's like chuggling, get her something <laughs> so and surprise her, surprise her. That's like the beauty of long distance relationships. But I think that pretty much I think we did a good job. Yeah. yeah. I hope this helps you guys. All you guys that always ask us this question. And if you have any other advice for anybody, comment down below. If we did not um, tackle something that you guys were expecting to hear, by all means, we apologize. Like I said, um, we just came off the top of the head. We didn't yeah. have no script. We didn't have anything um, scripted out. Just remember to cop our merch. You feel me? Everything will be somewhere <laughs> um, you just don't have to search for it because i don't know where it's gonna be you hear me it's litty lit we have a p.o box we're going to put the p.o address on the screen and in the description so if you want to write us any letters or anything we are going to be doing 
unboxing videos basically a whole video of reading all your guys' stuff and opening everything that you guys send us so make sure you go do that yeah we love you guys thank you for watching this video please give this video a thumbs up make sure you subscribe make sure your post notifications are on and we will see you guys in the next video and just remember what? have an added lit opportunity you feel me so keep that halo and keep your head up okay but we are you ask me how bad I want it. I guess I'ma beg for it. Your body looks better on me. Cause it gets wetter for me. Once you beg for me. Once you beg, once you beg. Watch me beg for you.